He can edit it. What's well, live? Live. You just have to be careful what Shauna says. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you check me out. All righty. Give it to me. We'll be getting started in just a few minutes. Thanks for tuning in. You ready for your nap? I am. You got the drink picked up? I got a great crew in here. Mm -hmm. Yes. We'll see you when you wake up. You're going to do great. You got all your work? Okay. All your songs? You want to go Yeah, I'm going to get my lucky songs So we'll be getting started in just a few minutes. We wanted to wait till 11 a.m. We'd like to thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, you can type them, of course, live uh, during the presentation, and I uh, will be able to answer those questions for you. Just about two more minutes, we'll be getting started. We have our lovely friend Shauna here. Uh, we'll be talking to you uh, during the procedure um, about the device, about the uh, uses, the indications, some of the contraindications, um, and some other things just like that. So we'll be with you in about a minute and a half. Minute and a half. Stay tuned. Toss that over. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, well, it's 11 o'clock in the morning here in uh, beautiful, sunny Shelby Township, Michigan. So we'd like to welcome you to our Facebook Live video of the Orbera gastric balloon insertion with our friend Shauna here, who's going to be drifting off to sleep momentarily as we kind of give you some of our introductory marks. Now, it may be freezing outside right now, but before you know it, it's going to be spring break time and then summer vacation. And so a lot of people this time of year, you've just had a great time over the holidays, maybe had a little indulgence in the, in the food department, and you're looking for some help in getting some of the weight off. Well, the Orbera gastric balloon device is exactly what that is made for. Uh, it's a silicone balloon filled with saline, uh, which goes inside of the stomach and basically occupies space so that it helps you lose weight. It's a tool that will help you feel full much sooner. So you have a small meal, makes you feel very satisfied, and decreases your caloric intake in general. Uh, this is kind of a model, a replica, that would simulate, though the sizes are a little bit different, it kind of simulates the size of the balloon within the, size, with, within the stomach itself. Now, as Sean is drifting off to sleep, uh, we'll talk just a little bit about it. Uh, we happen to have two balloon removals today already. Uh, and both of those patients had lost 35 pounds in just six months. So uh, we look for patients who are looking for some weight loss. We say on average they lose 20 to 40 pounds. Uh, we've had patients lose as much as 100 pounds. Um, uh, and it, 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 all, it all is based on uh, the device being in place, follow up with our uh, Allure medical weight loss team, uh, including our dietitian Shana who uh, meets with our patients regularly. Um, as a bariatric surgeon, uh, a lot of patients have come to me in the past saying, you know, I, I'm looking for something non-surgical. And so that is, uh, by using this device, it's allowed me to perform a weight loss procedure on a patient without altering their anatomy. Or say perhaps you don't qualify for weight loss surgery because your body mass index or weight uh, uh, isn't qualifying. Well again, another perfect indication for this. Now, Shauna's already drifted off to sleep, so we're going to get started with our procedure. And it starts basically with an endoscopy that we look down into her stomach, basically make sure the coast is clear, that there's no uh, issues that would prevent us from doing the operation. So I'll take the scope now and the bite block, please. Bite block scope. Okay. I'll be kind of talking through it as we go. Can help us get that in there. Uh, 
I hope you guys work on getting that in there. Mm -hmm. You can turn on our scope as well. So it's a sedation procedure, kind of like a colonoscopy or something like that. Yeah, not completely asleep. So you may see her move around, maybe even make noises, snoring perhaps, sometimes hiccuping. Uh, and as we get the bite block in place, that's just to basically protect the patient's teeth uh, and protect the scope as well. Um, as far as the Apollo uh, Orbera balloon goes, now this balloon has been around the world for over 15 years with 277,000 devices placed. So even though it's new to the United States in the last two years, it's been around the world for over 15 years and uh, very safe as well. Okay, we have our bite block in place. We're going to turn our light on our scope and we're going to begin the procedure. Can you turn the pump off, please? Pump off? On. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. And suction. So you look into the back of her throat. And as we're going down the esophagus, which is the food tube that goes from the mouth down into the stomach, we get to the bottom of the stomach and now we look inside. Like I said, hiccups is, hiccups is common. We look for other issues that may prevent placement of the balloon. Her stomach looks appropriate for placement. So we'll get started. Now we're looking inside of the stomach, you can see uh, on the monitor that we're reflecting, we're looking back onto the scope itself. So we just check out the entire stomach, make sure everything looks okay. And it looks great. So at this point, we're going to insert the balloon. The balloon starts out as a non-inflated device, about the size of your ring finger. So it easily goes to the uh, back of the throat. And then what we'll do once we get it behind, uh, beyond the throat, we'll then follow it, follow it in the as well. Okay, we'll take the scope. Thank you. And now if you can see on the monitor, we have the balloon partially down the esophagus. And now we're going to follow it into the stomach with the scope to be sure it gets into the right location. It's really important with these devices that you take a look inside the esophagus and the stomach, so it's nice that we can do an endoscopy prior to the procedure to make sure that everything is, is clear and ready for the balloon to go into place. Hiccuping is very common during the procedure, nothing to worry about. So as I mentioned, it's a sedation procedure, not a completely a sleep procedure, so making noises and, and uh, uh, movement is quite normal during this portion of the procedure. So now we see the balloon is comfortably in place in the body of the stomach, and we're going to start to inflate it now. Yep. We're connected to our pump. Now the pump makes a little noise as it's inflating. And then we're able to monitor and watch the balloon as it inflates within the stomach. Okay, we're going to activate our pump. If you can just step on that, we'll go up to 600. So you can start to visualize the balloon as it's expanding within the stomach. You see it start to fill with fluid. And the whole procedure in general takes about 10 minutes, as you'll see, starting with the sedation. To full inflation of the balloon. To the end of the procedure. See the balloon filling in place here. Let's stop at about 580. And we're almost completed with the uh, balloon full. All right, the balloon is now full. We easily remove the catheter. Oh. You take that for me. Oh. And here oh. we have it now, the balloon in place. Just take a quick look inside the stomach. You see the balloon is comfortably resting within the stomach. Plenty of room to move oh. around. You can even get beyond the balloon. But as you can imagine, it takes up space within the stomach. It's about the size of a grapefruit. 
Oh. So you get full much faster and it keeps you satisfied for a lot longer. So essentially that's the procedure. Uh, some other questions people may have. Um, uh, have we had any questions yet from the crowd? So that sound she's making, is that hiccuping? Yeah, that's the hiccuping. Basically, the, uh, the, the noise she's making is just like any hiccup uh, with the sedation. Sometimes that induces that. So uh, it's like any, uh, any, uh, any other normal hiccup. How long does the balloon stay in? The balloon uh, is a great question. So the balloon stays in for six months, uh, which gives you uh, time to work with our Allure Medical uh, Weight Loss Team and Shana, our dietitian. Um, as we kind of rechange and uh, uh, redirect our relationship with food, so to speak. Um, uh, frequent visits throughout the uh, balloon duration uh, is really what we show to be most beneficial for the patient's weight loss. How many balloons have you performed? So, me personally, I've performed over 200 balloons. Uh, I work uh, with the Apollo uh, team and the Orbera team as the proctor throughout the country. So I'm able to travel throughout the United States um, coaching and instructing other surgeons and uh, gastroenterologists around the country uh, in the insertion of the device. So I've trained the majority of the practicing surgeons in the United, in the United States right now as far as the Orbera goes. Um, uh, and um, as I mentioned, we've had 277,000 uh, throughout the world at least. Um, some other things we want to talk about basically. Uh, now with um, the weight loss season in full effect now, uh, we want to do something for our patients, so uh, because this is such an, an effective device, uh, we wanted to offer a discount for our patients. And uh, so uh, throughout the month of January, we're offering $500 off of the price, and um, uh, we look forward to meeting you when you come in for the consultation, where we can talk more about the procedure in general and that type of stuff. We have a few more questions. Oh, great, we more questions. Pasta on with us, and he has a question regarding um, how does the balloon feel when it's inside? So some people will notice, uh, the question just so I can reiterate, reiterate that was how does the balloon feel when it's inside? Initially some patients will notice the balloon but it then becomes part of you and so it, is, it, is, uh, it feels very natural. In fact most patients will say that they don't even know that it's in place after the first few days. Um, some nausea after insertion is common for the first few days. Uh, thereafter it's very well tolerated uh, but we give you medications to make sure you're comfortable uh, after insertion. And what does um, the BMI have to be for a balloon to be inserted? So the FDA requires that the BMI is between 30 and 40. Um, for people who are outside of those limits, uh, we can sometimes make special uh, exceptions. Um, so we'll talk with you uh, about that uh, at your consultation. Um, so you know, if you, if you think that this device is appropriate for you, uh, it's definitely worth coming in to talk. Um, even if you're outside of those uh, BMI recommendations by the FDA, uh, we've done it very safely in uh, other patients as well. How long will they be off work for? Ah, that's a great question. So we, someone asked, how long will you be off work? Well, some people, we usually do our procedures on Friday, like today, and with that we are allowed to have patients recover uh, over the weekend and uh, most patients don't have to miss any work. So maybe, maybe Friday you come in for your procedure and you're ready to go back to work on Monday. And then Susan wants to know how long does the procedure take? Yeah, so the procedure on average takes about 10 minutes by the time we get you uh, sleepy, sedated, we insert the balloon um, and then uh, uh, complete the procedure all within 10 minutes. So uh, there's essentially no downtime, no pain associated with it and very well tolerated. Again, all for the benefit of 30 to 40 pound weight loss on average, though we've had people lose a lot more as well. And Leslie's here with us. She would like to know, um, is there any possible side effects? So uh, people asked about side effects. Uh, side effects after insertion, maybe the nausea, sometimes vomiting. Um, but otherwise, in general, it's very durable. There's nothing that you can swallow or eat that's going to harm the balloon. Uh, it sustains all temperatures, you can fly on an airplane, you can go through an airport security device and, and it's not spotted. Um, you know, we've even had a husband and wife team who were having competing weight loss and the wife did not tell her husband she had the balloon inserted. We're not going to tell you who that is, but it's, uh, it's that easy to insert, very minimal downtime, and a lot of people don't even know that they've had it done. You, guys want to, you can take it to recovery if you'd like, yeah? Um, so we'll continue to answer questions here as we um, uh, receive them from the crowd. Um, 
One thing I certainly want to discuss is our webinar. Um, our webinar we have coming up on uh, January 18th from 11 a.m. till noon. And so that is going to give us an opportunity to do a full slideshow to talk to you more about the contraindications, the indications, the benefits, uh, our follow-up program. And that's an hour-long webinar uh, where you'll also be able to ask questions. Uh, and so that's January 18th, mark your calendars, uh, from 11 a.m. to noon. The way you can register for this, which is very important, is to go to the Allure Medical uh, website, which is alluremedical.com. Uh, then there'll be a tab for drop down. You want to go to the section that says news, N E W S. In that news section, you scroll down and you'll see registration for our webinar. Uh, that, by clicking on that, you will then be taken directly to the registration page where we'll be um, going through the presentation. Most importantly, I think it'd be great if you came in and saw us. If you're looking for a weight loss solution, uh, this is certainly one of the best products out there on the market. Um, that allows for a minimally interventional uh, device that's going to help you feel full, stay satisfied for longer, give you the jump start that you're looking for. Uh, we also on our website have some testimonials from previous patients um, who you can listen to and uh, they'll be able, to, by just kind of hearing their story, uh, will be great uh, for you as well. I think very beneficial. Sherry wants to know what happens after the balloon? Do you have support? Great question. So as we mentioned, the balloon stays in for six months because that gives you an opportunity to kind of retrain your stomach, retrain your brain, and redevelop a new relationship with food. Once the device comes out, you've lost the weight, you're feeling great, you're exercising more, you've kind of got that old, uh, you know, that, uh, that high school spirit back where you're exercising, you're, you're very motivated because you've lost the weight. Now, we continue to offer support. We have nutritional recommendations. We have follow-up visits as well. Uh, and really, it's a lifelong program that deals with uh, different interventions from a food standpoint, from a, um, a support standpoint. And uh, we have many different uh, solutions and, and opportunities for you to meet with the team for ongoing success related to the balloon. Amanda would like to know if you can work out normally. Great question. So Amanda asks, can you work out normally? Well. With the exception of the first few days where we ask you to kind of take it easy, make sure you're getting plenty of fluids, people will not notice this device uh, during their workout. Some people say maybe on a, on a heavy jog they might notice it initially, but again it becomes so much a part of you that it's, uh, you know, that it's not recognized. Um, so yes, workouts are, are uh, very acceptable. Uh, we've had, uh, from our colleagues around the world, for instance, one of our uh, physicians in Brazil, uh, places these in um, highly trained athletes who need to cut weight. And they are in kickboxing, uh, they're in wrestling, they're in other sports. And even a kick to the stomach uh, will not injure this balloon. Um, so, uh, so yeah, exercising is obviously very much encouraged. Um, very beneficial to the overall weight loss with the procedure as well. So just one more reminder, uh, while we're waiting for any other questions, um, we do have our upcoming webinar, uh, January 18th from 11 a.m. to noon, where again we'll be discussing the benefits uh, of the Orbera weight loss uh, balloon. Um, but as I mentioned, we'd certainly love you to come in, sit down, talk with us. Uh, we have solutions for uh, um, weight loss uh, of any nature. And we'd really welcome you to come in uh, to our facility and, and chat with us about those options. Um, I think we answered this a little earlier, but Sandy has a question, how many balloons have you performed? So me personally, uh, the question was how many have I performed? And I've performed over uh, 200 balloons, um, which is just about the highest in the country. Uh, because of our uh, follow-up program, um, our, our extensive coaching, uh, we've had people travel from across the state and from other states to come see us. Uh, so, um, with, with my ability to uh, teach the device around the country, um, I was just recently in Las Vegas and Dallas doing these lectures uh, for other physicians and surgeons to learn how to place the device and how to manage the patients afterwards. Um, it's given us the opportunity to really uh, bring in the highest number of patients throughout the country. Sammy would like to know um, a little bit more about the financing and how much the procedure costs. Great, so that's a great question. This is not currently covered by insurance. Um, 
the uh, procedure is roughly uh, $7,450. Um, with our promotion currently with $500 off, that drops it below $7,000. And I know initially that sounds like a lot of money, but if you think about the money that you spend on dietary programs in the past, um, and uh, medications perhaps, um, with the insertion and removal of the device, as well as the coaching, uh, it's, it's very, um, uh, very beneficial. And uh, financing is available. So if you have uh, financial concerns, certainly talk with us about that. Don't let that be a barrier uh, to having the device placed. We find most patients, um, after they've had the balloon in and they've had their uh, exciting weight loss, the number one thing they say to us is, boy, I wish I would have just done this sooner. I wish I would have done it two years ago. I wish I would have done it five years ago. I feel great. I'm exercising again. I'm playing with my grandkids. I'm playing with my kids. I'm doing things that I haven't done since college or high school. So we really encourage you to come in and, and, uh, uh, and have a chat with us about the device. Uh, Amanda would like to know how long the Orbera has been around for. Great question. So the Orbera gastric balloon has been around the world for over 15 years. Though it's new to the United States uh, over the past two years, it's been around the world for over 15 years, and over a quarter million of these balloons have been placed throughout the world. Uh, so over 277,000 of these balloons have been placed around the world with a great safety profile. Uh, the, you know, people want to know about risks. When you look at the risks associated with this procedure, it's actually less than a screening colonoscopy. Everybody in the world should have a screening colonoscopy at the age of 50. Well, this is actually even safer that the, than the procedure that we recommend for everybody around the country and around the world. It's a very safe procedure. Uh, hundreds of thousands of these placed throughout the world. Um, our highest volume is, is here right, uh, right in Shelby Township. Um, and don't forget, even though it's cold out right now, springtime is just around the corner and uh, it's time to get that body back into bathing suit condition, right? And so um, we want to help you in that regard. I think we're all set for questions. Great. Okay, well, we really appreciate you tuning in today. Uh, your questions were excellent. We really look forward to meeting you. Don't forget about our, our webinar that's uh, January 18th. You can sign up one more time through the AllureMedical.com website. Go to the News, N-E-W-S section, which will drop down um, uh, and then offer that webinar. Now, you can also click on it in our live feed that's happening right now. So you'll see that on your screen where it says register for our upcoming webinar. You don't have to wait until then. You can give us a call today, come in and see us next week, and uh, uh, we can get you going on your weight loss journey. Now don't forget about the $500 rebate as well. Uh, now is the opportunity to save some money on this uh, weight loss device, and we really look forward to seeing you. So thanks again for tuning in. Happy New Year to everybody. We look forward to seeing you very soon, and uh, have a great day.